Hey nesters, welcome back to Nesting Haven. We are continuing our thrift trip today, checking on some more items, hoping to find some good vintage. Let's see if you guys know what this kitchen apparatus is. Leave it in the comments if you know. Isn't this decanter super pretty? Asking $5.99 on it. Look at the rim to that. Isn't that very art deco? That's what comes to mind when I look at this. And this beautiful treasure was sitting over in the crafting section. I almost missed it. How gorgeous is this teapot? I have to take these faux flowers out and check out this because I am in love. Alright, so besides the obvious of it missing its lid, I wanted to look it over and see if there was any other issues because it did look really darling as a vase. Unfortunately, there's a pretty significant crack here on this side. And then the bottom... And then it did come around the edge a little bit. There was a lot of paint wear coming onto it. So this piece was a little tricky. I wasn't sure if it was somebody's arts and craft project or if it was truly vintage. When I took a closer look, it was obviously truly vintage. It is a bank, really cracked at the back. Did you guys see how severely cracked that is? This side looks good. It doesn't even really look damaged. And then even looking at it from the top, besides it's a little dusty, but look at this back. Ay, ay, ay. It's so unfortunate. I guess it kind of cracked into Snoopy a little bit. I was actually thrifting, and it was my friend Sarah's birthday, and I found this, and I did a little reel over on Instagram for her to say happy birthday. I'm convinced you can put anything inside of a cute little jar and it would be viable. <laughs> Why does this look so darling? I don't even know what's inside, but I kind of want it. And now I do spy something. Do you guys see it yet? <laughs> I'm going to work my way down from the top, but I did see something immediately. Let's see what this bird is. Mama feeding baby bird. This jar is cute. I have a few like that. Here we go, a blue bowed goose sighting. Can you believe it? <laughs> it is a glass cutting board with a blue bowed goose on it. How amazing. $1.99. Yes, please. And don't mind if I do. I found some Avon decanters. I typically will walk by them because I do not like the smell, but this lid, this lid, what is it, like a lampshade on this piece caught my attention with a yellow. So I wanted to check it out. It was full of something. Roses, roses, cologne. There you go. That's what was inside of it, but I love the little gingham, I guess, lid. I was just listening to somebody the other day talk about how they prefer the plastic clothesline hangers like this as opposed to the wooden ones. And I thought these were pretty fun. I don't know if they're made in the USA, like the ones they were talking about, but they're quite old it looks like, so I suspect there's a strong possibility that they might. Let's dig through these trays, see what's under here. Like a nice silver piece. You can see the little ring marks from all the cups that were set on it through the years. It's definitely had a life. I'm sure there's some folks that would really enjoy this piece still. $2.99 on that. I wonder how good that would shine up. Hmm. That one is tempting. There's a little, oh, it's not a state coaster, it's a Canada coaster. A little uh, damaged, but that's kind of fun to see. Ooh, check this out. Look at this ice bucket. That is quite the vibrant pink. How old do we think this is? Ooh, the top's kind of rusted. Inside's not horrible. Hmm. It's not really in horrendous condition, other than the lid has some rusting. 
Oh, look at this vintage beater. I wish it still had the attachments that go inside of it. I probably would have snagged it. Such a fun piece. I'm actually looking for a, a vintage blender, preferably in the same yellow color. Uh, for my chicken eggshells, I wanted just a separate blender because we do save them and you can reuse them. You can either feed them back to your chickens, it gives them some calcium, or you can use it as like compost in the garden and stuff. So I just kind of wanted a separate one to be able to just kind of store them and keep them on hand and blend them up good. I don't really check out the electronics too often, but check this piece out. This caught my attention. I love that wood grain. It's some kind of cassette player. I, I'm guessing it had something to do with making music. It looks kind of like a soundboard, like someone was trying to record some music on it. And I think there were some retro speakers beside it. You can kind of see that went with the set here. I'm guessing this is a recipe box before I pull it out here. It's $2.99. Yes, and there are some recipes inside of it. They appear to be 1980s recipes. Let's glance at some more of the Kitchenalia. It's kind of a fun set, some browns and yellows. Ooh, I like these cocoa mugs. The brown top stoneware, they are redware as well. They look like they're in good condition, and there is a complete set of six there. Two bucks a piece. Ooh, this is pretty too. Look at the browns and yellows. I'm so tempted. I see chips on these though already. Look at that little gravy boat. <laughs> I'm trying to see what the maker says. Can you see it? I'm gonna stick my camera down there and see if we can read it off. I don't think we can quite see it. I think I see USA. Here's a state souvenir, Florida. I find a lot of Florida here. Only two bucks. The state souvenir pieces are kind of my wheelhouse. This one was a little grody on the back end. I wasn't too wild about the pink and gold. Look what I found over in the children's books. The story of stone soup. Do you guys know this story? I am very familiar with the story itself, but I did not have this book yet. This is such a cool epic find. I love that. What else do they got hiding in here? Anything good? A lot of modern stuff. I mostly look for the vintage children's books, unless something catches my eye. It's kind of like the older books. I'm not making a mess of their books, I promise. I'm just kind of making a pile off to the side for myself to look through a little bit better. <laughs> I'll spare you from sifting through all these with me. I never know if I should uh, show everyone everything I'm looking through, but I think it's fun. Not everyone's into books, though. Lots of one-off pieces here, so I kind of have to pick them up individually to check them out. I kind of like this plate on the bottom here. It's kind of wild. It's not really a floral stoneware, but I'm kind of digging it. It's definitely in my colors. Is it modern? Yeah. I don't know. I kind of like it though. Should I? Should I? I can tell by the rim it's a stoneware plate. It's just a matter of what it is. Oh, strawberries. I love me a good strawberry item. The red on this is a little bit muted too. It's almost like an orange strawberry. I like that. I'm not really seeing anything immediately in this pile, but I gotta look. Oh, look. Did you see that? This little Aztec plate's kind of cool. Not my colors, though. But look. Look what was hiding under there. It's in blue and yellow. I've never seen this one before with the blue. I would rather it not be blue, necessarily. But I, I like it. It's definitely my stoneware plates that I'm collecting. So, 49 cents. I will grab it. There's definitely a little bit of digging today. So that's kind of good. That means there's things on the shelf, right? This is pretty. All right, so onto my haul of everything I picked up at the thrift store. The first thing I grabbed were these brown top stoneware mugs. Cute little cocoa mugs. They are redware, you can see at the bottom. 
and they were two dollars each so i'm into them about twelve dollars for the set and i'm gonna list these up in my etsy store i think they'll do pretty good especially this time of year in winter they're the perfect hot cocoa mug a super adorable little set of six so i was very happy i could find a complete set I also did pick up this dainty little Hope Your Birthday's Extra Special Just Like You little birthday plate. It's a good little sentiment to gift somebody for their birthday. It is from 1976, so maybe someone was born in 1976. I'm sure they would appreciate this for their birthday. And it was put out by American Greetings. So, a little hanger there, and it's just a cute little size. It does look very 1970s, doesn't it? <laughs> Ooh, look at those sunflowers. So pretty. So that'll be up in my Etsy as well. I will just quickly go through the little book stack I picked up. I got this one here for 49 cents. God is over all things. Just has, touches base on some of the stories in the Bible. And it's from 1973. The Stone Soup book. Are you guys familiar with this? So if you don't know about Stone Soup, so it's about three soldiers and they go into this little village and and they're hungry and they go and ask people and no one has any food for them. So they say, oh, well, I guess we're going to have to make Stone Soup. So the villagers are all very curious. What's, what's Stone Soup? And so basically they ask for everything in the village. Like, oh, we're, first we're going to need a pot. Okay, now we need some water. And then like, now we need three stones. So they put some stones in the pot and they're like, well, no soup is complete without salt and pepper, you know, and stuff like that. So they kept asking for ingredients and people in the village are running around grabbing different things. So the community all works together essentially to make this a giant soup. And then they're like, oh, this was the best tasting soup there ever was. So really cute story. I really love how they all came together. Maybe the soldiers tricked them a little bit, um, but you know, it all worked out. They, they figured out how to share and make a great meal. So this is a original copy from 1947. Isn't that amazing? It's a really, a really cute story. It was in the library somewhere, but it's got some graphics in it. A few little tears in the pages, but nothing too serious. I was very happy with that. I did grab Jack and the Beanstalk. My kids like that story. <laughs> um, this one looked pretty good so this one's a newer run from 2014 and then these ones look about like the 1980s maybe 70s bramble beavers bright idea thought that was really cute had some cute graphics in it so that'd be a fun one to read for my kiddos 1980 on that one and then ranger rick operation beaver <laughs> look like cute graphics there um some wildlife and stuff, so I think they'll enjoy that one. This truck in here, my grandfather's truck growing up, he had almost the same exact truck. It was a blue truck like that. So I saw that and I was like, oh! <laughs> and it reminded me of him. So honestly, I think that's what drawed me to the book the most. And this one was from 1992. I did pick up the Blue Bow Goose glass cutting board. I was really happy to find this. It does have some staining. I'm going to have to work to get out. Hopefully it's not too serious. And it was only $1.99 on that. I've never seen this before. I'm always amazed at how many Blue Bow Goose items there are out there and how many I've yet to see. So really cool. I did pick up the 1980s recipes. It was $2.99 for the box. It does have this little stain on it. You see what it looks like? That is a wrench. You see that? Someone had set a wrench on there for who knows how long. It's kind of funny. <laughs> so there's a story. There's a little story. This little wrench sat on this for probably a good 10 years or more. What do you think? <laughs> I think that's hilarious. So I probably will end up reselling this, but I am going to hang on to it for just a little bit. I kind of still want to look through it. And I'm going to try to organize this a little bit better and check and see if everything's there. But, yeah, I want to check out some of these recipes. I'm just kind of curious. I don't look at a lot of 1980s recipes. I think in the 80s, they were kind of into, like, was it low-fat, low-carb, something like that. It was They were trying, yeah, low-cholesterol stuff. I think that's what it was. Um, so, I don't know. It's kind of interesting to see, see how uh, y'all ate in the 80s. So, <laughs> I'm going to check that out, but I probably will be reselling it. The 80s wrench box here. <laughs> 
I did grab this bag of clothesline clips. My son calls them pinchers. <laughs> and I really like these kind of rosy pink ones and like a dusty rose. I took one out to see if I could see any markings of Maker, but I did not see anything. But they're good quality. They definitely have some age to them. So I'm excited to try these out. There does appear to be a couple that are broken in here, which is kind of the reason why I got them because they said, you know, these ones kind of dry out and break a lot usually don't last more than a year or two and they were, they were saying oh the plastic ones work really well and they don't break so I mean this could just be a result of something heavy being dropped on top of it which is you know probably the, probably what happened but I'm excited to give them a try and see how long they last all right and then I picked up this pillowcase I really liked the colors on it, it looked kind of kind of 1970s a peach it's a little more peachy orange but I like it and it's a good size one as well it's just a, a white backing there but it's happy to find that I don't know they don't have a price but I think their pillowcases are 99 cents a piece there so a good deal on that and I'll just quickly go through my little plate stack that I got for my wall Get this one for 49 cents this one is masterpiece I guess might be the pattern name I'm not quite sure I did grab the strawberry one I'm gonna try it I'm kind of doing florals but I'm gonna try that out because I do enjoy it and you know I'm a farmer I'm a gardener so I uh, don't mind incorporating stuff like that I also got this for kind of like a wall placeholder I do like it and the colors were kind of muted so I wanted to try it and uh, you know like I said we garden so I thought it'd be kind of cool to incorporate and that one was only two dollars and then I grabbed this one as well. It's kind of a placeholder, but it has some funky like design to it and definitely has my colors. So that one was only 99 cents. Uh, I think it says 2007 on it, but yeah, I like it. All right, that's going to wrap it up for my haul today. If you're interested in anything, you can head over to my Etsy shop. It will be there until it's not. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe so you can catch more thrift along with me's in the future. And yeah, we'll catch you the next time. Bye.